to we young parties lacked more information about HIV AIDS in regards to how it is spread and prevented. For those who already had it, she brought out new ways of how to prevent it spread. In the physical trainings, we made our main problem is transport. Kindly let the secretary put some transport for the patriotism arrangement in the very district. Madam Commissioner, our chief guest, there are always challenges during uh, such trainings, uh, trainings, but as a regional coordinator, I've always told people that that's the reason I exist. We were challenged by interview sources, but I have already said I sorted it out. We are also challenged with logistics, especially the transportation of Utorogo people, Utorogo students which are away from uh, 30 kilometers from here, but I gave them my bus and fuel, Madam Commissioner. That is also sorted out. Madam Commissioner, there's one thing I only want. Maybe I will pray that we, when you are talking, you will just put some highlight on it. The continuous demand of schools from us of these uniforms. We were given a bit of explanation yesterday, but I think some were not there. How I wish that we got that explanation. They train us to be hard working. Patriotism is a, a mandate and a calling for all of us because it's a duty under our constitution, under Article 17 of the 1995 Constitution as amended. Every Uganda must be patriotic, we must be loyal and love our country. We don't have any other Uganda. Are we together, learners? Yes, I now declare you patriots for God and my country. Asa! to avoid bad contact for your own security. I heard in the memorandum when they were talking about the rights of the Honorable Member of Parliament about HIV. Yes, that animal HIV has taken the young people. The other time it was reported that more than 400 youth contact HIV every seven days. Not a joke. But we have to be conscious. HIV is a killer, and there are current participants to have to stay until the right time. We are here in Murende for patriotism training in schools, secondary schools here in particular. This training goes countrywide and we go zone by zone. So today we are in this zone training about eight schools and a population of 2,101 participants who are present today. I would encourage every Ugandan, those in school and out of school, our mandate is now very wide for school going people and also in common sector. I would encourage everyone to embrace patriotism because it's a mandate and a constitutional calling for every Ugandan to undergo this patriotism so that we can love our country, cherish our country, be hardworking in order to promote the campaign that HE the President is carrying out currently of wealth creation. Through hard work we can do the wealth creation. This is a very good idea for us if we want to create a country that is full of people that love the country and do due diligence for the country to move forward. We have always faced a challenge as Uganda, as a country. We have civil servants who at times are not patriots and so they do whatever they do just for the sake of doing it or for a job. But if we have such output, I think the better tomorrow Tomorrow's Uganda will be a better Uganda for us to live in. For that matter, I would like to encourage the so many schools that we have in Mbende districts and the whole country to accept and also buy in this program of actually having at least such a training once in a year. Yes. Communicating an available command, yeah. With Castle Helen Staple, a lawyer by profession and an enrolled advocate of the court. Her current position, she is currently the Commissioner, National Secretariat for Patriotism Corps. NSPC in the office of the President and also the Private Secretary with affairs to His Excellency.
In these days you have been training, we have surely seen the work that is before us. The age, impact and management. And therefore, the 100% convinced 1,000 foot female patriots. I can now to appreciate your efforts. We have sat for God. But seven. Is that in the day, Saba? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. The chief guest is with us. The chief guest is with us. Yes. Uh, it's composed of eight schools.